what's up everyone hippo tc here and in today's video we're going to do something a little bit different we are going to talk about the state of sea of thieves we're going to talk about the state of the game in today's video it's a question that i get asked a lot and i wanted to cover it here on the channel so without further ado let's jump into it Sea of Thieves has changed a whole lot since it was first launched. Back in the original days of Sea of Thieves, we had three trading companies. We didn't have anything in the sky outside of the Skull Fort, and that Skull Fort only spawned every two hours. Now, if you did manage to get the Skull Fort completed, which let me tell you, there was, there's was there been bloodthirsty pirates from the very beginning of the game. So that's actually something that is not new at all. PvP has been around and it is just getting more and more fun in many, many ways. Now, before I forget, the only thing you did find in the Skull Fort Vault Room was minimal treasure, a stronghold chest, and a stronghold skull. There was not even the Mega Keg introduced at the very beginning of the game. So needless to say, we have seen a lot, a whole lot of changes in the seas since the beginning. Now, the question is not how is the game when it launched, but how is the game today in 2020? How is the state of the game for Sea of Thieves in 2020? And that's what we're here to talk about today. It is my opinion that Sea of Thieves is in its best spot it has ever been in the game history. Now, let me qualify that for just a little bit because I know I'm gonna get a lot of people in the comments saying that there are so many bugs in this game, it is frustrating. And let me just tell you, there is no game out there that doesn't have some sort of bugs. Now with a game that's constantly being updated the way that Rare is delivering monthly updates, there is prone to be some bugs. Now some bugs can be quite hilarious like this one. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> and some bugs can be really crazy and insane like this one we're gonna have to have a little chat after we're gonna have to have a little talk all right so what are we gonna do man because uh Nobody's coming to do this. <laughs> this is the Athena boat as a level one. Yeah, don't. Yeah, he he's he's not a good driver. Don't worry about how he's he's ramming. He's all right. He's talking. He's talking smack about your driving. Yes, that's me being transported across the map in an instant and then being instantly trans. Yeah, I I don't know. The only thing I can think of is it's aliens. Aliens abducted me in that moment they know i'm woke and and they're here they they've come for me so if, if, if this channel ceases to exist you guys know you guys know what came for me all right anyways what was i saying okay the state of the game there's no game out there that doesn't have some bugs but when it comes to sea of thieves what i want us to focus on is what has been released in 2020 which should tell us the trajectory of the game and where we can see it go not only this year but next year and the following year and every year after that that sea of thieves is with us now this year alone we have seen one of the biggest and most game-changing update we have ever seen in the sea of thieves and that's the emissary system it was launched on anniversary year number two this system changed the game in so many awesome and positive ways now rare didn't even stop the emissary system they introduced new tall tales the ghost ships and the latest update ashen winds we have seen nothing short of a miracle considering that rare right now is working very remote considering that they've done all of this during the season of covid they have done an incredible incredible job and I just want to talk about the future of this game and this is where I really now this is just my opinion this is what Hippo TC thinks when I think about Sea of Thieves and when I think about all of the incredible moments and stories that have been created there has been one thing behind each and every single moment and that is a developer that has a vision 
for the future. Now, I know a lot of you are going to be like, well, Hippo TC, you're just a Sea of Thieves partner. You wouldn't say anything against the partner program that would get you removed from the partner. And that's that's not what this is, right? This, this is me sharing what I'm excited about, and that is the future of this game. Rare has done an incredible job. And if we were to truly compare year one on, on launch all the way up to today, we would see nothing but non-stop updates and improvements. The only one that I think we could probably have done without is the Cursed Thrones. Like nobody wants to sit in Thrones rare. The build rat, that build rat adventure, we're gonna forget about that one, okay? Like it, it just, it doesn't need, anyways, anyways. Outside of that one, every single update we've seen has added some type of great improvement to the game. And that's what I'm excited for. When I think about the future, I think about the developers behind it and the passion that they have for this game. You know, it's been said that Rare creates games that don't exist. That means they create new and interesting games. And that's what I feel every single time I load into Sea of Thieves. It's an open world sandbox that allows me to play the game how I want to play it. So what's the state of the game in 2020? I would say it's in its best spot it's ever been. And the trajectory for the game is only going to improve. Anytime I think of a game, I look to the developers and the track history that they have with games. When I think of Sea of Thieves and I look to Rare, I am confident that even with the bugs that we run into from time to time, and even with the issues that we might run into with PVP and hit reg and all of those things, I know that those things can and will improve, and they do from update to update. Sure, there might be some setbacks from time to time, but looking ahead, I'm confident and I believe in Rare. It's easy to forget that we wouldn't be here today talking about this game if it wasn't for the passion of the developers behind Sea of Thieves. In fact, I wouldn't even be here. You wouldn't be watching this video. I wouldn't be streaming on Twitch. None of this would exist if it wasn't for Sea of Thieves. So yes, I do owe a debt of gratitude to Sea of Thieves and Rare. But with that being said, regardless, I'm excited for the future of this game and you should be too. Now, what do you think? Make sure to let me know in the comments below. And guys, listen, if you haven't yet subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. It really helps me when you do that. I'm working towards getting 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year and I can't do that without you. So if you haven't yet subscribed, please consider hitting that subscribe button. It would really, really help me if you do. Oh, they're taking up the mega kegs right now. Get the ship ready, dude. I'm blowing them. Oh, oh, holy crap. Okay, go. Oh, I think they all died, everybody. Oh, I think every single person just died.